Budgeting can be tough, and if you are not paid the same amount every paycheck, it becomes even more challenging. I want to show you how you can work a budget when your paychecks are completely different. Now, the things we're going to be walking you through can be done using any medium. So however you're budgeting, whether it's uh, in a spreadsheet, whether it's using a software like Every Dollar or YNAB, you can use this process in all of those. I'm going to show you inside of Every Dollar how to do this. But like I said, whatever method you're using, this will work for you. So what we want to remember when we have an irregular income is if you're paid based on commission or if you're hourly or it can fluctuate, typically what we like to do is we like to budget based on that worst case scenario. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to zero this out. And let's just say we're going to go off our worst case scenario. Now, the way I typically find this is we're going to go back maybe six months or so and looking at your paychecks over the past six months, what were some of your lowest paychecks? Once we find those, we want to ask yourself some questions. Was it low because maybe I was out sick for the week? Or was it low because of uh, another outstanding circumstance? We we're on vacation. Uh, if, those, if that's the case, we can throw those out. We're looking for the lowest check based on a week where we maybe worked an average week, right? You didn't pick up a lot of extra hours. You just worked your typical hours, maybe a little bit less than normal. So that's what we're looking for. If it's commission-based, maybe it's just a week where you didn't make a lot of money on commission. Whatever that may be, let's find that lowest week. And I don't go too far back. I usually go every six months and just look back six months. And that's just because if you go back too far, there's a lot of other factors. Maybe you've just been selling a lot better. Maybe you've gotten more primed or your, your pipeline's grown. And so you're able to sell and make that commission a lot more easily. All right, so let's go ahead and plan that out. So we're gonna come in here and we are going to just say that um, maybe your lowest paycheck was $2,000 and you get it twice a month. We're gonna plug this in. And then we're gonna come through and we are going to budget based on this amount, this $2,000 amount. Now, I'm not gonna go through each line item. If you need some help on the actual budgeting side of how to create your budget uh, with entering your, your planned expenses and all that. We got plenty of videos that will walk you through that. Uh, what I really want to hit on is what to do with these irregular checks. Now, once you have planned out your budget, our goal here is to get this to be a zero based budget. I'm just gonna see if I can knock out. I probably have a really high expense, a couple really high expenses in here that I can just quickly pull out that will, um, let's just knock this down. I'm just going to take out the mortgage just for the sake of we want this to be a zero-based budget. So once we get this nice little check mark, okay, we have budgeted on our $4,000 income. We have planned every dollar out. Now, here's the beauty is when you get your paycheck, when that transaction comes in, whether it's in plus or not, let's say you get your check and it's $2,500. Um, whoops, I'm going to change that to an income. And we're just going to do a quick little... And we're going to drop it here. Now you'll see you have received $2,500. So there's a couple ways that we can go about this. Because we have planned our budget out to the dollar, we can take this 500 and throw it toward our goals. If you're trying to build savings, if you're trying to uh, pay down debt, if you're whatever you're working on, we could take this $2,500 and we can funnel it that way. The other thing we can do is we can actually come in here and just change the planned amount. Now, the reason I might do this is so that I can purposefully come through here and put that $500 towards something. If it's going to be the emergency fund, I can come in here and plug in the 500. If you have a repair, if you are wanting to spend a little bit more money on restaurants, maybe you cut your restaurant budget way, way down and you're like, I would like to funnel a little bit more back towards that lifestyle, whatever that may be, that's what we're going to do. And by changing the planned amount to match it, then I can actually come through and plug it away. It's not necessary. Again, if I'm going to just put 500 in savings, I don't necessarily have to put it in the planned amount. But if you're using funds, it's going to throw off your fund balance if you don't. And so that's why I go about it this way. Um, the other way you would do it is if you didn't. So let's just say we're going to put 500 into the emergency fund and I don't change the planned amount. I would want to come down here to the emergency fund and I would want to add um, an income line of $500 because we're adding $500 into that in emergency fund. So now we can see that we have $2,500 instead of 2000 that we had before and we are balanced out still. Okay. Odds are you're not going to make less. If you do, let's just say the check comes in, it's only 1800 you may have to come through and make some $200 cuts, right? Um, although it looks like your first check may balance it out, so it would work out. But that's what we are doing. And then every 
quarter, maybe every three months or so, I might stop and I might go back six months again and say, what was my lowest month? So if it starts to go up to maybe 2,200, then we can start budgeting at that amount. But always kind of anchoring into that worst case scenario is going to help make sure that you are all set. Now, one more thing I want to point out is on this worst case scenario, maybe not everything fits into your budget. So maybe you are doing this and you're going, well, we can't afford to do everything that we like to do. So you're coming in and cutting some things. Uh, What I typically would do here, and this is just an idea to throw out there, is you can add a group. um, Maybe it can be nice to have or uh, would like to, whatever it is. This is some line items. So maybe it's um, new... uh, new shoes or something for whoever or um, restaurants, uh, date night. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of coming up with something off the fly. But if there's some things that don't quite fit in, you come through and you have to scrape it all down and there's a few things you're going, oh man, you know, we had to take away clothing money. So let's say if we make extra, then we can plug some cash into that. So when this 2,500 comes in, let me add, change it to the plan. I can come down here and say, great, I want one of those new shoes. We made enough so I can add 50 bucks into the new shoe category. I can add whatever it is down here. So it's almost this this filler category. When you do make more than what you thought you might or your worst month, you can have some things ready to go that you can fund and then you can do those. All right. Budgeting is can be tricky. And so really the key is here, just give yourself some grace, give yourself some wiggle room. There is no such thing as a perfect budgeting software. There's going to be nuances that you're going to have to try and figure out and kind of work around. If you're working in every dollar and trying to figure this whole thing out, we have a free Facebook group that we'll link in the description below. Uh, Join us there. It's a great place to get some support. Now, if you're looking for help outside of every dollar, we are no longer doing free calls uh, to give support in every dollar because we have such a fantastic Facebook group, but we are giving calls to people who are looking for deeper levels levels of support in their personal finance journey. You are likely budgeting for a reason and you're trying to solve a problem in your finances and that's where our team of coaches come in. We would love to meet you and see if working with us can help propel you towards those financial goals that you're trying to accomplish. In the description below is a link to get connected with one of our coaches. It's a free call to unpack what you're doing and see how we might best help you. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with us and we will see you in the next video.